At 92 years old, Ben Lesser has lived many lives, from immigrant to UPS driver and real estate mogul. He tried his best to forget his childhood memories of the Holocaust. But now the man who tried so hard to forget now makes it his mission to remember. Mike Davis shares his story. My name is Ben Lesser. I'm a Holocaust survivor. And I have a big story to tell. Living in a beautiful one-story home in Sun City, Summerlin, situated on the end of a pleasant street, Ben Lesser continues his mission to remember and share. It, was, it came to me in a dream. My whole family, uh, I saw them and they were all yelling to me, Zachor, remember us, we were here. It, it's like I feel, I felt Six, actually six million of our dear departed ones were crying to me, crying to me, remember. Born in Krakow, Poland in 1928 to a family of seven, he had two brothers, two sisters, and wonderful parents. Unfortunately, out of the seven, only two survived the horrors of the Holocaust. It's painful to watch Ben remember, and 92, as he retells his journey, the stories appear to happen in real time. They're vivid and still painful. But daily, he shares his journey from teenager to his time living in the ghettos, enduring four concentration camps, including Auschwitz, Buchenwald, and Dachau. He even experienced the infamous death march and death train. And yet, remarkably, Liberation Day from the Dachau concentration camp was just the beginning of his journey. Because as his memoir, Living a Life That Matters, spells out, Revenge for him was moving on and living a successful life, capturing the American dream. And Ben has certainly lived the American dream. Immigrating to America, at first, he struggled, penniless and unable to speak the language, but the special fire he's always had propelled him to great heights. It wasn't until much later in life when an opportunity presented by his grandson to visit his classroom laid the groundwork for Ben to find his true calling. I was scared. But I, I remember going to his classroom in the school and going to open the door. It was like walking to the principal's office. I was, what am I going to tell fifth graders? I'm, am I going to frighten them? Am I going to have nightmares? The kids in the classroom loved Ben so much they skipped lunch. And from then on, Ben hasn't stopped. 25 years later, Ben continues to share his story. Even during the pandemic, he has continued to virtually educate. And commit to a life that has meaning. And although he's proud of the work he's done through his Zakor Holocaust Remembrance Foundation, he feels a stronger desire to share his story more than ever. I do feel a sense of urgency, especially now is that there are a lot of anti-Semitic um, things happening all over the world and uh, even after the Holocaust there were other Holocausts that wasn't the end a smaller proportion than it was with the Jewish people but there were in Kosovo and in different places in the world so apparently the world hasn't learned the lesson yet and his daughter doesn't see him stopping anytime soon. First of all, it's just in his blood to do that. Uh, my, and this has given him such new life. I mean, at, at 92, he's like a 70 year old, you know, he, he'll be the first one to jump up and move furniture in a room. This is, this is his life. This is what his life is about now. It is about teaching. It is about remembering. At this point, Ben has shared his story with more than three quarters of a million people. Each time he speaks, he proudly gives a pin with the word Zakor to every guest. For more information on Ben and his mission, visit zakorfoundation.org.